In today's video, we're going to be going over a game that a lot of you have been requesting, and that's the Minds game on Rubet.com. We'll be going over the basics of the game, as well as the math to calculate the expected returns while playing. First of all, let's give a quick overview of how the game is played. The player starts off with 25 spaces on the board, and gets to choose the number of bombs that are hidden under these spaces. You can have a single bomb on the board, or you can have up to 24 bombs, leaving only a single empty space. At this point, you also decide on the amount that you'd like to bet on the game. The player then has a chance to uncover these spaces one at a time. If they successfully dodge a bomb, a multiplier appears on the space, and the player is allowed to cash out for that amount. This multiplier changes based on the number of bombs that are on the board, and the amount of spaces that you uncover. For example, if there's a single bomb on the board, and you dodge it after 5 turns, you can cash out for 1.21 times your bet. However, if there are 3 bombs hidden on the board, and you successfully uncover 5 tiles, you can now cash out for 1.96 times your original bet, since it's more difficult to dodge a larger amount of bombs. If the player does uncover a space with a bomb, the game is immediately over and they lose their entire bet. Because the payout is different depending on the number of hidden bombs and the number of tiles uncovered, we need the formula that Rubet uses to calculate the multiplier. After searching on their website, I couldn't find this formula anywhere in the code that they provide. So I reached out to Rubet, explaining that I was making a video about mines, and I asked for this calculation, so that I could inform my viewers about the expected value of the game. They responded with the following message, stating, Unfortunately, that is not information that we can provide. In my opinion, it's ridiculous that the players don't get to know what their payout will be before taking the risk of uncovering another tile. I responded with another email giving my opinion and asking why they don't want their users to be better informed while making decisions on their site, which I think we all know the answer to. It's been over two months and they still haven't responded. So that means that we're going to have to figure out how they calculate the multiplier on our own. The first thing that I did was collect some data. I tested out different scenarios and recorded the number of bombs on the board, the number of spaces that were cleared, and the payout multiplier. The next step was to find the probability of uncovering a given number of spaces with a certain amount of bombs on the board. We'll look at a specific example to show how we'd calculate this. Let's say we want to find the probability of clearing 4 spaces when there's 2 bombs on the board. Since there's 25 spaces total, and the 2 bombs are randomly placed, the chance that we uncover a safe tile on our first pick is 23 out of 25. Assuming that we successfully missed a bomb on the first pick, there are now 2 bombs and 22 safe tiles out of 24 spaces. So our probability of dodging a bomb on the second pick is now 22 out of 24. We can find similar probabilities for each of the next 2 tiles that we need to uncover, and after multiplying these fractions together, we get the overall probability of dodging a bomb after uncovering 4 tiles. In this case, the probability turns out to be 70%, and this calculation can also be simplified to this formula here using factorials. Then I actually played this scenario on mines, and I found out that the multiplier for clearing 4 spaces with 2 bombs on the board turns out to be 1.39. And now that we have the multiplier, we can calculate the expected value of this specific bet. Let's say that we bet $1 on this game. We found that we would expect to win this bet 70% of the time, and each time we win, we would profit 39 cents. The other 30% of the time, we would lose our $1. This comes out to an expected value of negative 2.7 cents per play, or negative 2.7%. So this is great when we know the multiplier of a certain situation, but finding this multiplier for every possible combination of bombs on the board and spaces cleared is nearly impossible. For example, the probability of successfully clearing 12 spaces when there's 13 bombs on the board is 0.000019%, or just about 1 in 5.2 million. So we can't just find the multiplier for every possible scenario by playing ourselves. We still need to figure out what function they're using to calculate the payout for each game situation. Now I did manually collect the multipliers for 76 out of the 300 possible game situations, and I calculated the expected value for each one. Here's what the distribution of these expected values looks like. First of all, we can see that all these bets have a negative expected value, but some have expected values that are worse than others. They range from negative 3.4% to negative 2.7%, and seem to be centered at just around negative 3%. Now if a bet is fair, and has an expected value of 0, the multiplier should be 1 over the probability of winning. For example, the multiplier for a bet that you have a 50% chance of winning should be 2 if it's an even bet. Because I saw that this distribution of expected values was centered at around negative 3%, I calculated what the multiplier should be if they were even bets, and then I subtracted 3%, which is the same thing as multiplying by 0.97. Then I rounded each of these multipliers to two decimal places, since that's how precise the multipliers are in the minds game. And after comparing the multipliers from this calculation to the 76 multipliers that we actually knew, 
we can see that they match exactly. So we can be pretty confident that this is the formula that Rubet is using. And now we're able to use this formula to calculate the expected multipliers for all of the 300 possible game situations. After doing this, we can see that the bet that has the highest win percentage but lowest multiplier is when you uncover one space when there's a single bomb on the board. This bet has a success rate of 96%, a multiplier of 1.01, .01, and an expected value of negative 3.04%. There are two bets that are tied for the lowest win percentage, but the highest multiplier. This is when you have 13 bombs on the board and need to uncover 12 spaces, or when there's 12 bombs on the board and you need to uncover 13 spaces. As we saw earlier, both of these situations have a success rate of 0.000019%. They have expected multipliers of 5,044,290.95 and expected values of negative 3%. However, the minimum bet on mines is one cent, and the maximum win amount on one game is capped at $20,000. So you wouldn't even be able to cash out the full $50,000 that you should have after winning this bet with even one cent. Now let's look at the bets with the lowest and highest expected values. There are two bets that are tied for having the best expected value. These are the situations when you have two bombs on the board and you have to remove four spaces, and also when you have four bombs on the board and have to remove two spaces. These scenarios both have success rates of 70%, multipliers of 1.39, and expected values of negative 2.7%. There are four bets that are tied for having the worst expected value. These are the situations when you have four bombs on the board and have to remove one space, when you have one bomb on the board and need to remove four spaces, two bombs on the board and need to remove one space, and one bomb on the board when you need to remove two spaces. All four of these bets have expected values of negative 3.4%. I know it wouldn't be fun to use the formula every time you want to know the multiplier or the expected value of a bet, so I try to make things a bit easier. Recently, I've been wanting to learn how to create a web app, and I figured that this project could be a great opportunity to do that. I created a website where you can put in the number of bombs on the board and the number of spaces cleared to calculate the predicted multiplier and expected value of the bet. The calculator will also tell you the probability of successfully winning the bet. For example, let's say there's 10 bombs on the board and we want to clear three spaces. After we enter these values and press calculate, we're told that the predicted multiplier is 4.9, we have a 19.78% chance of winning, and we expect to lose 3.07 cents for every $1 that we bet. I'll leave a link in the video description if you'd like to check the site out. Just keep in mind that Rubet can change their multiplier calculation at any point, so it's possible that these estimations of the multiplier and expected values aren't completely accurate. Thanks for watching the video, and be sure to leave a comment if you have any topics that you'd like me to cover. Also, it'd really help me out if you left a like on the video so that YouTube will show it to more people. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.